This is JAC Entertainment. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a good day. Um, I decided to come in a little bit early to see if I can get some more people, followers, um, early in the morning. Usually I come on at 8.30 at night, Pacific Standard Time, but I'm trying something different to see if I can get some more followers and more viewers. Um, basically, we're on Act, Act 5 of Diablo. Um, please follow. It does help the channel. We're playing a Necromancer. We've already beat Diablo. We're on YouTube. Please subscribe on YouTube. We have a patron uh, on there. We're going to be doing some other games. We've got the Lego Star Wars coming out next month that I'm going to be streaming. Um, if, if, if we have an Amazon wish list, if there's any games that you want me to do, please f feel free to basically let me know in the comments, on the, in the description on YouTube, or on chat on Twitch, and let us know what you want us to play. We'll be glad to, and you can get it get it on the Amazon wish list for us to, to do. And um, let's get started on on Diablo. Hope everybody's having a good day, and we'll get started. But please follow; it does help the channel out tremendously. Um, we are on Act Five, one level before the cow level. Just a brief recap and the kitty wants to get in the chair sorry <laughs> all right here's the stash here's the blacksmith if people don't know um, here's another mer merchant this is where you get all your potions and your, if you don't have the book, which I highly recommend you get your town portals and your identification book in the first, first quest. This is going to be your wand for in-game and everything. This is going to be your wand for the whole thing for your necromancer because it adds three to rise in skeletons three to skeleton mastery um two to summoning skills is the best one in the game that's another merchant um here's the port here's the waypoints we'll get the first waypoint in the highlands and then we'll get all the waypoints on so, so on we have all the waypoints here, all the waypoints there, there, and there. Um, so far, um, where is trying to find Kane? Kane's walking around here somewhere. Um, we'll rise the golem. There's another merchant that, that's a gamb you can gamble. There's Kane. Uh, use your, all your identifications and everything else. And all right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside the gate. This is the siege. What you want to do is get your skeletons up as fast as possible. Make sure you map it out. So we got four of the, the mages. We can have up to five of the the other one. Alright, so we got all that area mapped out. Alright. Just mapping this out.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to rise these minions up. Um, you can do corpse explosion. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically keep fighting everybody. Let all the minions basically just go over there and kill everything. And all you're going to do is sit here and put curses on everybody. Corpse explosion. Corpse explosion. Make sure you fill your mana back up. Now we have eight minions now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. I'm going to kill these guys over here. Kill the catapult and stuff. And we're just going to keep going back and forth. Once you see the iron golem, then basically you can rise them up. Make sure you put your get your curses up. And you want to map this out. That way, basically, you can um, nothing comes up behind you. You have three curses that you want to use and rotate. Weakening is the second one. Grab the skull. So what we're doing is we're just going over blue antlers, flawless topaz. corpse explosion make sure this is all mapped out alright you're good alright explosion fill your mana back up got the staff take out these catapults once you can get up there and do that you want to weaken them your golem will come over there and basically do that and see if they, they've already taken out the catapult. So what we're going to do is we're going to rise everybody up again. Uh, what I try to do, and that is that basically what you're going to need to do, I think what's a good place and that is right here like a portal go back to town and refill your mana up always keep 20 of the the, the potions And 
keep a well stocked um, on your on your thing. Come down to the stash. Now you're gonna start getting the flawless gems and perfect skeletons. Perfect. Uh, some will be perfect, some won't be. Alright, now you're good. Now go back. Alright. Now basically, just finish going along. Yeah, mapping, mapping it out. It's always easier to walk across, walk across here. That way, basically, you can. It's it makes it easier to basically wear the battle staff. Battle staff sells for good gold. This way, basically, you just keep going this way, and then basically you go up. And you're slowly mapping it out. That way, basically, you can, um... And there's the catapult. This way you map it out at the same time. Always fill your mana back up. If you have pools, you can you can always do that. Take out these catapults. Slowly moving along. This is all mapped out so far. There they come. Long sword. Uh, we're not quite, not quite full yet. Still got one more spot. That's my notification. Basically, um, nope, I just want to keep mapping this out. Still have the golem. All right, there's the barbarians. Good on that. There's a champion over there. He's weakened. And he throws us. All right, so. Like a portal. Here's your pull. And have Kane identify all this. Yeah. Have Kane identify it. 
Don't worry about your guys, your minions dying. You'll get them back. certain staff that we're looking for for our helper look at that 2,500 gold for that staff that's good gold alright hope everybody's having a good day thank you for letting me come into your home tonight this morning and um, please follow. It does help the channel out tremendously. And um, please subscribe on YouTube. Like the videos. All right. So we're still we're still getting those rejuvenation potions because we got a bunch of them. Fixing to rise these minions up again. So we got three now. Alright. Basically, we're still staying with, uh, we're mapping it out, but we're staying with, with these guys. You gotta be careful with the, with the barrels. They blow up. Try to do corpse explosion as much as you can. out down here, wrapped out over there. Alright, so we're going to go over this way. Flawless diamond. Golems down. That's fine. We get the golem back. That's what that corpse explosion does. It's, it just kills everything. All right, so we're moving along. We're making sure everything's mapped out over here. Slowly staying with the group, but we're basically keep killing everything at the same time. So, a tower shield? Okay. Um, this is why you carry extra mana. That way you can refill your, your, your mana, so to speak. And you should be able to get that in there. Refill your mana. That tower shield's gonna take up that that right there. I know I know that thing is gonna take up a whole bunch of room, but it sells for good gold, and you're still trying to max out your gold. So you know that's 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 what that's what, what you gotta look at. Oh, there's King. All right, there we go.
Alright, tower shield. Uh, didn't sell for that much, but it, it's still... Money's money, right? Alright, now we're gonna fill up our mana again. our stash, put, put everything in our stash, just to recap, now we have a full rejuvenation, and we're going to deposit, try to deposit as much money as in your guild, in your bank as possible, because you lose a certain percentage when you, when you die. So, they were rising all these people back up. Now we're back to full army. An L run. That's maxed out. That's fully done. So I can just shoot him from range right here. What I'm doing is I'm weakening, weakening them. So they basically can't just kill my my guys. And it takes a little bit longer for them to basically kill my guys, to basically when, when my guys, so they don't kill the golem, they don't kill the... So we're just mapping this out. It's so much easier to run right across here to basically um, do your do that to basically to you get to the end and then come up and then basically um, that's a defense defense mechanism. Like blocks them in or something. And that's done. That catapult's done. Alright. And now we're going to help these guys out. everybody back up and we're going to take this catapult out oh, I should not be maybe I should <laughs> So, go 
like that. Getting close to 37. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Just starting your day. And, um, or starting your morning. And I hope that y'all have a good, a really good day today. And, um, let thank you for letting me come into your home please follow it does help the channel tremendously and um, basically you know please subscribe on YouTube um, we're trying to get to the, the, the 50 50 50 followers so we could start doing giveaways and everything else and and start doing this um so we can start running with 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 subscribers and um that would be fun to do Please follow. It does really help. So you let all those minions just take over and basically just do that. They'll they'll run up there and 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 take care of those guys. And everything so you won't have to worry about it okay. what did I get poison from all right that one's done that, that area is done well, that's done and I'm still getting poison Heal up a little bit. I think it's those death maulers that are poisoning you. All right, so we got to rise some, some skeletons up. some skeletons up all right we're at five of those now we're at eight of those now make sure you take out these catapults they your minions will take out these catapults like nothing all right so we're going to walk down this way do we come to a dead end? Top off your healing, I mean your mana. Alright. Come up here. This way. Where 
Alright, so skeletons back up. Minions. Mana. Catapult. Level 37. Hope all the, I hope this has helped so far, basically to help you understand stuff. So what we're gonna fill is our mana back up. And our healing. Put that over. Back up to eight. This is where you want to do the corpse explosion because it would really help out a lot. And that's your quest. Do you want to wait till all that fire just goes away? Before you just run over there. Stick that up there for right now. That's a two handed sword. Alright. And this is all mapped out. You mapped it out at the same time you were, you, you killed, you did your quest. Alright, so, I'm going to grab that mana pot. And then we're going to put that mana pot there. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the sword back to, we're going to take that back. We're going to get this identified. we turn our quest in we're gonna sell our stuff and then basically um, um, then we're gonna refill up on a, on a portal and our mana that way basically you know we have all our mana stuff. Alright, look at that. Nope. Alright. Now we're going to go down to our stash. Before we... 
and then we're going to go get that two-handed sword. Um, the one thing I did do, and that is that basically you get a lot of these set items. If you don't want to wear the set items, create an alt, create a couple of alts, because you run out of bag space. And what you want to do, and that is you want to basically, you want to um, put, you want to keep the set items for your, for alts and stuff like that. So what you want to do, and that is put it on an alt. And then when you make an alt or something like that, you can put that in on your alt. That way you don't have to farm the gear again. You know, um, that's what I've been doing. So, I just want to clarify that. Um, we're just going to get this two-handed weapon. Hey, little one. And she has to be part of the part of the show. <laughs> she loves her daddy. She she really does love her daddy. Her name's Kalina. Her name's Kalina. It might have been 400 gold, but it's still, it's still what it is. Alright, and then basically, now you come back to this blacksmith. And talk to him, and see you're almost level 38, which just doing all that. By the time you finish Act 5, you should be level 50. Um, what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a socket to that. Now what you want to do, and that is you want to put a, see this is going to be your in-game thing, so I'm just going to add a socket to that, and then voila. So what you want to do now, and that is you should be able to add sockets to your stuff. Um, put that in there, then you put, uh, that, an am ruin, and a purple topaz. Um, I must be missing something. Um, I'll get back with you on that, but you should be able to add sockets to your gear. So, um, this is going to be your armor. For in game, friend of mine traded that. These are going to be your boots. You want to, you want your magic find to be at 350 to 400 max. So, um, and there's your, there's the first quest. All right. So, um, but, um, please follow, 
it does help the channel out. I wanted to show you all at a little bit of Act 5. But I will be on tonight at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, go to YouTube. Subscribe. Join the patrons. Um, we have three different tiers on that. Please follow on here. Subscribe on YouTube. And um, I will see you tonight. Have a good day.